Yes, how's everybody doing? My name is Mensal Kimalan, and I'm the founder and tech lead at Universal Equations. Today, we're just going to say a little bit about the, um, what we're going to talk about HTML forms, uh, specifically the action, um, the action attribute. Okay, so we wanted to keep this very, this conversation uh, very narrow. But uh, we definitely want to talk about HTML forms because as a web developer, um, that's one of the major stepping stones uh, for a web developer. I mean, after you get past just being able to render paragraphs um, on an HTML document, whether it's like an, or an article or something of that nature, then you're going to want um, for users to be able to interact with that particular web page. And um, one of the most straightforward ways to do that is with a, a HTML form. Uh, you've got a lot of flexibility there. HTML forms, there's so many different types of forms, whether you're subscribing, whether you're doing a survey, giving some feedback, whether you're trying to contact uh, a business owner, uh, et cetera, um, uh, putting in an order, credit card information. I mean, list goes on and on. So if you're able to master this, um, these fundamental concepts about forms, I mean, it'll, it'll definitely take you, it'll definitely take you far. But like I said, right now, we're just going to focus on the action attribute. Okay. So um, I guess HTML is a prerequisite. Okay. So um, what you see here is you see a typical uh, HTML doc. What you have is um, is basically how any other HTML doc is. What well, I won't say any other, but a standard um, way a, a HTML doc is organized. You have your your head section, and then you also you also have your your body section. Okay, the rest of the body section is, is down the bottom. So um, that gives you um, an idea of just the way a typical HTML uh, document is um, constructed, right? So that's just review. I mean, y'all already knew that, right? So we're focused on the, the body uh, of the HTML uh, document because that's where um, the code that, you know, that typically renders um, on the web page, that's where that's going to be located, right? So we're looking for the form element. We find it here. This is our, this is our form element. So, um, and we're looking for that action, looking for that, that action attribute. So that's what we have now. So what is the action attribute? Now that we're here, action attribute uh, tells the form where the data should be sent. We call that uh, server side, where the data should be sent, whether it's on a script on the um, server itself, or it could be uh, something uh, external which in that case you would see uh, a full, you would typically see a, a full URL and assuming that this URL is not on the um, actual website that it's, it's, it's not the same root as a, the website that it's sitting on. This is actually an external URL and uh, it could look any, any, any number of ways. I'm just putting something here that kind of sort of makes sense. So this could send this um, somewhere else and um, you do often see forms with action attributes and the URL is to a PHP uh, script, which processes the, the values within the form. I mean, that, that's very common. We've been doing it for a very, very, very long time. A <laughs> very, very, very long time. I don't even want to, um, I don't even want to uh, say. So for the, the method attribute, this off, this works right with the action attribute. We typically use one of two things, whether it's a get. We know if the get, the, the, the URL has all the data that is sent, right? And if we take it a step further, we get to a post. And this is, this is case insensitive. It can be uppercase or lowercase. That means that uh, we have the option of sending data within the body of the of the request right so that gives us more um a, another option right as opposed to the get so that so that takes things up another notch maybe that's another dimension i don't know how you want to look at it 
But uh, with that, we have to think to ourselves, okay, so what is the mean type of this body of data that we're sending? And there's three that we want to talk about. The default uh, is what we call uh, application. And this is xww.form. And this is URL uh, encoded. So that's, that's the, that's the um, default, right? But you, you also have two others. Um, this one, the multi part, you, a lot of oftentimes you'll use that if you are uploading a file. Um, and this is form data. Right, often if you if you are uploading a file, so it is there are dividing lines between the data that's sent, um, hence the word multi-part. And one of those parts may be a, a file, a file upload. And you also may want to do just a text plane. A lot of times this is um basically folks that are doing um that are doing um uh, debugging. Right. But the um, the um, since we're not uploading files or anything like that, the the default default is fine. So um, those are the three attributes that you'll probably want to know about uh, for the form element. I just take it to a few other things and I think we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to close this out. So I did want to actually show you the um, the submit button. Right. So that's a button that that sets the party off. Right. That sets that that sets it off. Uh, right. So um, this is very typical form. Again, you click this button and all the data within uh, this form uh, name, email. I can you know, we can see it down here. Name, email, password. That data uh, gets sent. Right. So um, I guess we can talk about where we go from here. Right. So. Um, this sets us up for things, and this is, well, I'm really uh, just generalizing. <laughs> I, I can't go very deep into this. But this sets us up for things like Ruby on Rails, sets us up for things like uh, React.js, because uh, React developers, we love our functions, so we may want to do something that's more uh, function-based. For example, we may want to do an on submit. We may want to do an on click. We may want to do an on click to validate the data within the form and then the on submit actually uh, sends the form. We may have to use something like a fetch or um, an Axios to send the data to a uh, API. So, um, but you, you again, you want to have this foundation before you can do uh, before you you probably feel comfortable doing any of that things like form controls, um, etc. Because you may want to have. Um, you, you may want to have functions that are uh, processing uh, the data of each one of these inputs. That's something you can do. Uh, that's more that would be set you up for something that's more React JS based, etc. But again, you know, let's keep it simple um, and keep it focused on those three attributes of the form element. Um, I'd also like to mention the the field set and field legends. These are elements that we um, we can often associate with forms to structure it, organize it a little bit better so you can follow it. Name, um, you know, email, password, we put those labels, legends and things there. So we, we know what we're um, we know what we're looking at. Your basic info. This is the legend. If you want to separate the form into parts, labels in order to label the inputs and um, it just makes it, you know, field set. These are for all the, the input uh, fields uh, that are there. So it just makes the, 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 the form, you know, more usable, more user friendly. Right. So I think y'all get the gist of what's going on here. This is something I just pulled off of CodePen. I just felt like it would be very convenient just to just go to CodePen, pull up a form and just and just go through it um, instead of just, you know, lecturing to you, talking to you, actually, you know, going through some code and showing this to you. But uh, I think we're done. Uh, I think we've done enough here. Um, as always, um, click submit. I mean, I said click submit. <laughs> I said uh, I should have said click uh, click the like button as well as um, uh, and or uh, click sub sub uh, subscribe so we can keep, you know, getting the content uh, coming to you regularly. Uh, I do enjoy I, I do enjoy um, 
this format, giving you this information, giving you, you know, it's starting dialogue, you know, uh, getting some things going uh, in terms of um, software development, in terms of the technologies, uh, et cetera. So um, we'll go ahead and close this out. And um, I'm curious to see where we go next uh, with this, because there's definitely a lot of places that we can go. But uh, I'll let you all get back to what you're doing. I'll let you all get back to what you're doing. Uh, thank you for uh, taking the time. Peace.